Welcome to Conversations with Laura. And we are going to talk about the fast growing business these days, well, it's the Internet of Things. And I have four guests at my table because we're in Seoul for the first time in Asia. And our host is Mr. Inyob Cha from SK Telecom. And then on, uh, on my left side, we've got Jeff Mulligan, the chairman from Laura Alliance. And we've got Matt Bacon. Uh, marketing director of activity and last but not least Richard Lawson from uh, well you're responsible for the network system in Semtech aren't you yep oh, okay so I would like to say welcome well maybe uh, it's welcome in uh, in Seoul because of you sure. and <laughs> what I've heard is 12,000 gateways in three months how did you do this is it really true well, it's been a while actually. The, at the end of June, and we started on uh, 1st of April, so within about three months we uh, deployed more than 12,000. It's actually much more right now because that was the initial deployment and then we also began to deploy it uh, to cover the, the dark spots. So it's count and the count is actually increasing every day. But uh, yes, uh, we, it was a large effort, diligent people, so, and well planned too. But that demonstrated the, the lightness of the deployments which was a long, I mean, a big a promise of lower technology. That it's going to be so light, so easy to deploy and install and maintain. So we actually kind of proved that. I see you've got already 500 uh, people, members connected. And how many are in the Alliance? Uh, yeah, actually, the, uh, in Korea, SK Telecom has been leading a, a, an IoT partnership that now comprises more than 540 partner companies. And it's been growing. We started in in June. Yeah, yeah. So, from June to now. <laughs> I thought we were growing fast. <laughs> You're growing fast, of course, but you geographically dispersed, right? We're, we're a dense country. We we knock on each other. Right? <laughs> Join or else. <laughs> but, so, so is that the secret then? Is it's kind of local people. Or, no, it's, you, it's you, you can knock on each other's door. <laughs> <laughs> we call on SK, SK Telecom <laughs> we Networks. Just call. <laughs> <laughs> <With> Wi-Fi, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but people have been very receptive, very, very inquisitive, actually, curious about Laura, and they have been, and we've been trying to reach them. But nowadays, they come to us. By this time next year, we'll be probably counting thousands in terms of uh, the partnerships. So, I mean, that has been the spectacular, most spectacular thing because. We couldn't have come up with all of the use cases that we are experimenting right now yeah. by just by ourselves. Most of them actually came from our partners. So this is the power of the openness and the power of the network, so power of the ecosystem that has been promised by Laura. So I think it's, a, it's an exciting time for us. What SK Telecom has done by rolling out a network across an entire nation yeah. and now saying, bring your thousands of, of <laughs> applications Put them on our network. Yeah, uh, it's it's it is it's literally game changing, and hopefully it's a play that we can we can now push across. And I want to find out how we now bring some of those thousands of members from your <laughs> sure. ecosystem yes. into the Laurel Alliance. Yes. So I was very interested in your let's call it big bang approach. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. that, that, uh, we don't oh. see that. You know, it's like it really is an all-in, uh, and and the the way you've enabled the your ecosystem to develop in a very rapid and quite looking quite a mature way right now, uh, I think is is very impressive. Would you say that um, you know many people might say this is a, a build it and they will come approach, or or is it more analytical than that? You know, do you just believe oh, that this uh, is just going to happen? be perfectly frank, uh, th th there's actually a bit of a kind of a leap of faith kind of approach here. Because we really didn't have the analytic uh, uh, information to say whether this would be a fizzle or this would be a spectacular mm -hmm. rise. We, but we, what we decided was that un until we did this, we wouldn't know it. Because we could not imagine which may be the, the, the largest use cases, most successful. We'll have to, initially at least, we'll have to be a uh, spaghetti wall massive yeah. player. It's going to change, change the, uh, the whole pace of things, I think, globally. You know, uh, particularly in the US, we see some... Well, not to take away from the announcement of SK Telecom, but the announcement of Comcast you yeah. know, that, took to roll very, out. That's very, huge. Yes, of course. And those heavyweights saying, we're in. 
it's a massive message. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very important. It's very impressive that for Semtech to have that kind of agreement with a, a, a global player such as Comcast. I mean, it's, that's just amazing. Yeah. To, and but sure again, that, I uh, think, right? I want to talk with your ecosystem and say, wouldn't they like to have as their customer Comcast yeah, yeah. Sure. become a Laurel Alliance member? Yeah. <laughs> And, and we can help make that happen. Sure, yeah. We had three mottos uh, for our effort, uh, and lightness, and easiness, and togetherness. So that was basically the three, uh, those are the three mottos. As it is lightness, and as it is so easy, mm. doesn't anybody else hop in? Because everything's free and open, isn't it? You know, trying to manage an alliance like, like Laura, right? There is this cooperation. You know, it's it's cooperation and competition yeah. together, and and and. But I've been absolutely amazed. I think we we, we don't have um, a lot of infighting. I think we all realize this market is ginormous. Yeah. Um, you don't need one winner. No. We can all win, and we can all benefit out of it. And as a result. What's what's the old adage? You know, the rising tide raises all ships. So let's just make sure that you know the, the tides tides rising for everybody. And, mm -hmm. and and people are people want obviously the people in the alliance want lo the Laura technology, the Laura concept to succeed. And and so we're working together to yeah. make sure that happens. I think never more so than at the all member meetings that we are yeah. today. You know, yeah. everywhere you look, you see collaboration. You see competitors actually talking and communicating with each other, they, they know where their competition's engaged, they know uh, what's going on, and it's a very collaborative, it's an amazing environment yeah. to be in. To it's just not that to they see don't want to win. They right? all I mean, want they they all You want know, Actility yeah. wants their wins yeah. and, and, and all of For that, sure. but, mm -hmm. but understanding that, that there really is an opportunity mm -hmm. and, and, and people are offering different things. And the other thing I think about the, the breadth of, the, the thing that I've been amazed about is the breadth of the ecosystem. Um, uh, f and, and I, I've said from sand to service, mm -hmm. um, sand being Semtech, you know, building chips, ST Micro and the folks that are, and, and Microchip, right, the folks that are actually delivering chips, silicon, to the other end where people are, are deploying completed end services. And everything in between, we have everybody who are feeding in, um, feeding into the specification, feeding into the certification program, um, uh, you know, our operators are getting with us in the certification program saying, we need these things, um, we need to hear from you. We need yeah. these things in the certification wow. program yeah. so that we can be assured yeah. that when something attaches to our network, it interoperates, it works and does all of that. And it's, it's, it's a joy to behold. It's hard sometimes hurting all the cats, but it's... Yeah. it's uh, Wait, yeah. take the example of a roaming. Right? Yeah. Because initially, the initial version of uh, LoRa didn't support uh, right. global exactly. roaming. But uh, so some of our competitors might have uh, pointed out that fact out, and then we might have said, let's put it in then. Yeah, <laughs> why not? So we are in, in the process of almost completing that, right? Uh, so. That's exactly what happened. We, the engineers, I don't want to say forgot roaming, but, but didn't really contemplate the idea. The operators came and said, um, How about roaming? Time out. Let's, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, these devices, or if you think about a pallet that's going to get shipped around the world, world. There Check isn't one trace. network. Yeah. Um, we need to we need to yeah. enable global roaming, yeah. and and so the technical committee took that to task. And and 1.1 will include global roaming. Yeah. And I don't think this um, alliance phase is a passing thing that will disappear when you know, technology reaches maturity because it won't ever reach maturity. Right. I mean, you look at something like the Bluetooth SIG or Wi-Fi; you know, those are still very effective organisations. You know, Twenty. 30 years down the yeah. line. So Wi-Fi is my favorite example, right? I, 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 I mentioned this yesterday at the AMM. I want the success of Wi-Fi for LoRa, meaning that yeah. when someone goes out and talks about LPWAs, they just say LoRa, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. when you, no one says 802.11, A, B, C, N, whatever anymore. They just go Wi-Fi. Yeah. And even beyond that, right, they're, they're their certification, their testing program is so strong. It used to be I would go and look and see is there a Wi-Fi logo. Now, no one dare bring anything to market that isn't Wi-Fi certified. certified. We yeah. need we we need to make sure that that happens within Laura so that anything that comes on is it's, it's just certified. it is certified. If it's it just if, works, it yeah, just right, works. Right, right. The alliance has been around 
for not even no, two years. No, not even um, we have a certification program in place. We've, we've revved from 1.0 to 1.02. There were some little things here, but actually the biggest reason for that was understanding we needed to separate the documents so that we can be quicker to regionalization. I think that listening to the market about what the standard ought to encompass yeah. is key. Mm -hmm. uh, as you mentioned this morning, again, you know, localization is something that everybody wants. So that's clearly got to be part of the roadmap mm -hmm. very quickly and because of the alliance process it can be. And because now we're discussing, as we see how fast that we talk about the alliance, not even two years, three months, <laughs> the gateways, <laughs> yeah, still impressive. But what's the future going to be? If we, where are we next year? How fast has it grown? Is it, is it predictable? Um, I, I'm not positive that, you know, I mean, I'm not sure it's predictable. No. Um, uh, I think that I think that that certainly we will grow the membership. Um, uh, the, the alliance has right now we we have a public goal of hitting a thousand members by by our second birthday at MWC in in March. Um, it's it well. Um, yeah, with well, their, with their, yeah. I, I'm yeah, looking across something. the table with their help. There's 500 right there. Then we're, we're, we're yeah. Then we'll be easy. <laughs> Um, uh, but beyond that, um, I think it is we have um, we, that's all well and good. But if 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 the folks there aren't putting products into the market, right, putting attaching products to the network, um, that's where that's where the 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 value in all of this mm -hmm. is. Um, it's great to uh, yes, we want to see we want to see networks in every country in the world. We we want to see that, but we want to see devices and we, and and at the end of the day, why am I doing this? Is to change the world, to make the world safer, more efficient, um, uh, save energy, greener, all of that. And, and so it's those applications yes. that we want to start to see. It, you know, the, the membership growing is, I think, uh, a symptom, not a yeah. cause. Yes. You know, the, the cause is the fact that the technology moves forwards, we bring new features and the network uh, that have been deployed, you know, they're largely software upgradable, so that you can add features, yeah. you know, geolocation is going to come in the second phase of, of rollouts. Mm -hmm. Once you can take every piece of data that comes from every sensor and localize that, that data becomes richer. You can use it in radio resource management, you can use it in capacity management, all kinds of uh, uh, spotting problems and interference, and even uh, you know, uh, where, where we have uh, new services required can be predicted by looking at where the data is coming from. You know, one thing that, that's actually even forcing us to do as, as a habit is to try to observe how many things are there in what capacity around us. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really know about, about these things before un until we actually deployed this network and started to talk to our partners. How many okay, street everywhere. lights are there in, in the Korean Peninsula, for example? Mm -hmm. How many street lights? How many manholes? How many electricity yeah. poles? How many right. <laughs> cameras? Yeah, how many, yeah. yeah, yeah cameras. So we're counting a stock of all of these, and I think eventually they're. <laughs> it's just, I know how there are about, spots? Yeah, 21 oh. million cars. <laughs> yeah. how many? 21 million cars in Korea, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, about Korea. 3 million manholes, about 8 million blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah. 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 We just learned last week there are about 3 million LPG gas tanks. Really? Yeah. So we are introducing a solution to, because most of these actually uh, come in pairs because mm -hmm. people don't know when the, the, this tank might become empty. Yeah. So just as a backup, you usually have another tank here. And it's manually monitored switch and manually over. switched. So mm -hmm. we're actually switching them by LoRa. But you think you could, yeah, you could eliminate half the gas tanks if you if you can get just-in-time delivery of, right, of the right, propane. Right, 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 right. If if there's one thing that the smartphones taught us is you do not know what people are going to use stuff for. Absolutely. No, no. D and you know you, you've got this fantastic resource now, and over the next few months, things are going to come at you from every direction. I need this. I need this. Can we use it for this? And, and you, you can't predict that. Yeah. Well, and again, that's I think that's to go back to this idea of of you. I mean, yes, it was a little bit of leap of faith, but it wasn't. It, again, go back to it. It's light, right? Light and easy, meaning that you can you can put it in, and that leap of faith isn't such a long leap. Um, and now I think we're just going to be blown away by the things that that you know the Facebook yeah. for Laura, whatever mm -hmm. whatever that's yeah. going to be. 
And now, now the capacity is so great that you don't have to be in a position of trying to pick the winners. You can let well, everybody yes. come yes. with, with cool things is. and see what works. Soon we we'll also deploy the like buttons for Laura, with Laura, I guess. <laughs> 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 well, thank you very much, gentlemen, for this interesting conversation uh, with Laura. And thank you for having us. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next uh, emission because this was only the first one and I think we've got so much to discuss because uh, the development is uh, enormous. It's happening so fast, yeah. I think we barely scratched the surface, but this has been fun. <laughs> there you go. It is. Thank you. And would you like to know something more about the development of IoT uh, with Laura? Please join our channel on YouTube, the Laura channel. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time.